You think natural gas can be extracted by drilling a hole anywhere and pumping it out. In reality, the process is far more complex. It begins with locating the gas. Exploration vehicles send seismic waves underground, and scientists use the reflected signals to build 3D subsurface models that pinpoint gas reservoirs. Engineers then drill an exploratory well to confirm the gas layer. Once confirmed, additional appraisal wells are drilled to define the field's boundaries and calculate recoverable reserves. After development is approved, large drilling rigs are installed. Diamond drill bits rotate continuously to break through rock. As temperatures rise, drilling fluid is pumped into the well to cool and lubricate the bit, carry debris to the surface, and stabilize the wellbore. At set depths, the drill is withdrawn, steel casing is inserted, and cement is pumped in. The cement fills the gap between the casing and the well wall, hardens, and secures the structure. This process is repeated with smaller casings until the gas layer is reached. When the reservoir is opened, gas mixed with water flows toward the wellhead under natural pressure. Blowout preventers control the release. The gas is then separated, dehydrated, compressed, and sent into pipelines. For long-distance ocean transport, pipelines are not enough. The gas is cooled to minus 163 degrees Celsius and turned into liquefied natural gas shrinking its volume by about 600 times. Transport becomes efficient, but the risk increases. A single LNG carrier can transport around 200,000 cubic meters of LNG. In the event of a major leak or explosion, the damage would be severe. That is why ships carrying large spherical or prismatic tanks are given a wide berth at sea. 